One, two, five rockets fired into the sea. Target, a decommissioned Philippine Navy vessel, 22 kilometers from where a U.S. HIMARS launched the missiles. Air and Naval Assets Reinforced Ground Artillery. The ship's sinking exercise was a first for the annual war games known as Palikatan, which means shoulder to shoulder. And the Philippine president himself, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., was there to witness history. The president watched the exercise and he understands the challenges that is entailed in doing a combined operation at this level. And from that, the appreciation of the president is what we came out with. The mock enemy ship was anchored in waters close to the South China Sea, where Manila and Beijing have competing claims. But officials say the sinking exercise wasn't directed at China. The message is not geared toward anything outside of the strong relationship and bond with the Philippines. Beijing had earlier warned that increased defense cooperation between Manila and its allies should not interfere in maritime disputes. This year's Palikatan joint drills between the Philippines and the United States aren't just the biggest, with around 17,600 troops participating. They're also taking place amid heightened tensions over Taiwan and the territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Adding to the unrest, Marcos granting U.S. forces access to four more military bases, in addition to five approved under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement signed in 2014. Three of them are near Taiwan. The size, the number, the magnitude of Balikatan was conceptualized in 2022. So it was only executed now. But we do appreciate the coincidence in terms of how it's being conducted now with respect to other developments, particularly our foreign policy posture is being reshaped under the current uh, administration under President Marcos. After more than six hours of coordinated hits, guided bombs dropped by a U.S. Marine fighter jet sank the ship. Victory in a simulated battle. One both armies hope will never become a reality. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Zambales, the Philippines.